Hi everyone and welcome to this short video on adding an RSS feed to your Google site. Well, to the best of my knowledge, we can't add an RSS feed to an entire site. However, you can use a particular page style in a Google site and that's known as an announcement style page. And if you haven't made one before, dive in and create an announcement style page on your own. Also keep in mind that this works a little differently between personal and domain accounts. So let me demonstrate this in, in a personal account first, then move to a domain. So let's say I have already created an announcement style page, looks something like this. And down below you'll see the post that you create each time you add something and your viewers will see subscribe to posts. And it works just like any RSS feeder. It has a little symbol on it. You can click on it and connect up to it. Or like any other reader, I can come up here and I can copy the web address, go to my reader, whatever reader that I'm using, and paste the URL in there. And sure enough, it discovers that feed and I can start reading it through my reader. Again, that's an announcement style page with a personal Google account. Well, let's dive in and see how domains work just a little differently. Let me bring up another page here. And this is an announcement style page inside a domain. And when you create an announcement style page in a domain, nothing will show up in this instruction area. Because for some reason in a domain, it doesn't allow you to automatically connect it up to an RSS feeder. However, there is a workaround for that. And I've put some instructions down here for my viewer uh, to make this work. I put a little icon on here, an RSS feed icon, and some instructions. And the instructions are quite simple. They need to add the following forward slash post dot XML to the web address of the page so it will work with an RSS feeder. Well, let's see how that works. Let me copy the existing uh, address right now and then go to an RSS feeder of some sort and paste that in and see if it will discover it. Well, nothing's happening here. Nope, it doesn't seem to want to work. However, if I follow the instructions on the page and I copy that extension and I add it to the web address, there we go. Now I copy the entire web address, go to the RSS feeder, and drop it right in there. Let's see what happens. There we go. It does discover that page. Uh, as RSS reader and you can use any reader for that. So domains work just a little bit differently. Well, I hope you found this video helpful. Have a good day.